Hey everybody, Ann here. I'd wave, but I can't because I'm driving, so I'll keep this short. I'm on my way to town. I don't want to go to town, but I have to go to town. But you know what? The Goodwill is closed, so I guess it's going to be Walmart. Look how pretty my drive is. Every day that I go into town, go to work or whatever, I get to see this beautiful view. It is gorgeous out here. Oh, and gas y'all, $1.51 a gallon, yeah! That's my wheels. I'm putting on the brakes. Hear that? Okay, y'all, you wanna see what I bought? Uh, I'm gonna show you. First thing is brown mulch, and a big old bag only cost me, oh, it was under $2. And I'm not gonna use it for what you think I'm gonna use it for. So I'll show you that later. Next. I got three brand new buckets. Actually, I got four, but there's one more that I'm going to use for a different purpose. Nice, clean bucket. So, three new buckets. I got another 32-gallon water barrel, haha, <laughs> trash can. I got four bags of hummus and manure and a bunch of topsoil. So, you know what I'm going to do today? I am totally going to plant stuff. But before I get started, I wanted to tell you that all of this that I'm going to be doing today has been made possible by people who donated to the channel. So thank you. The first thing I'm going to do is drill holes in all three of these buckets. <laughs> Done. Next, I got to go find me some leaves and sticks. Now, I didn't do this with the tomato bucket, but you know what? I'm going to make these just like I did my raised beds and put some stuff down there in the bottom. I think that's enough. Now it's time for some leaves. Look at my new buddy. See that little frog? Scared me. I thought he was a snake, but he's not. He's just a little frog. Can you eat it? I think that's enough leaves. Yeah, I do. There's a few pine needles in it, and I know that the pine needles make the soil more acidic. I tried to pick most of them out, but you know what? I think this will be fine. Now it's time for dirt. And the three buckets are done. I used almost a full bag of hummus and manure and one full bag and about a third of another bag of topsoil and I just put it in on top of the leaves and sticks and tossed it around. I layered it. I would put topsoil in first, then the manure, then mix it up and then more topsoil and then more of these Earth Grow organic fertilizer mixed it up until it was full. So now I need to find a place for them. I think I'm going to locate them over here, and these are the tomatoes. They need to be watered. I had them up on a cinder block because I was afraid it was sinking down too much into the clay and it wasn't draining good enough, so I just found some rocks and put them on top of that. So I'm probably going to do the same with the other three buckets. Um, for now, I'm just going to place them right here. Uh, once these tomatoes get a little bit bigger, I'm going to transplant all but one into other buckets. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to locate any, everything yet, but... Um, the good thing is, is buckets are portable. I can move them. So let's get the rocks ready. I think that's okay. This one I couldn't find any more rocks and I didn't want to go over to the slope by where the snake is, where all the rocks are. So I just found a couple random a couple remnants of concrete. The others are up on rocks and they're nice and level, at least for the most part. So now I am going to go down to the river and get some water. This first one here is gonna be jalapeno peppers. So let me just dig the little holes, and I'm just going to do it just like I did the tomatoes. I'm going to do five spots, one in the center. I don't think it needs to be that deep. Three, four, five, and then I'm going to get my seeds and put them on down in there. Let's just put one, two, well, let's just put a few in each one. And these only need to be planted about a quarter of an inch. So oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm only going to use about half of this pack because you know what? All my other cheap seeds have been sprouting. So that's pretty good. I'm going to just cover them up with a little bit of soil. There we go. Hey, it's looking good. Get down in there. Okay. Jalapenos are planted. Yes. Then in this planter, I'm going to do Cubanelle sweet red peppers. And in this planter, I'm going to do sweet banana peppers. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that done. And then 
well, I don't know, maybe just a teeny bit more water and on to the next project. They are all planted and watered and uh, there were less seeds in the cubanelle and the sweet banana so I just stuck their little things down in there so I would remember which bucket is which. So I think I think I need to go water some beds over there. I've already given the hopefully spinach a good water so hopefully that little thing right there is a spinach but I don't know. So. I'm just gonna water, water my lettuce, get it all nice and wet. I think it needs another bucket. Would you look at all those beautiful plants? Look at those cucumbers in the back. Oh my goodness, and the beans, they look so good. I'm just gonna give them a little drink of water. They look a little thirsty. Oh, these beans just look absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Everything in my beautiful garden is watered. It's coming up. This one took about five and a half gallons. I'm still missing something right there. Hopefully another bean will crop up. If not, uh, if I can separate one of the ones where there's two growing, I'll just transplant it over there. This one took, I don't know, maybe five gallons. Yeah, maybe five gallons. Uh, maybe that was ten gallons, actually. And then for all three of those buckets, I would say five gallons. And I got all of the water from the little stream out back. But... I am just feeling very, very satisfied with this garden. I just wish these would start getting bigger. I probably should start thinning them out a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that's about time. But just look, look how gorgeous this looks. Yes. All right, I'm trying to decide. I have all of this soil. I had totally bought more soil than I needed. But you know what? I still have that big, big black bucket on the inside, and I haven't planted the green bell peppers yet, so whew, let's get it done. Done. I got sticks. I got leaves. I got bricks to stand it up on so it can drain. And I got soil. A little bit of water. In fact, a lot of water. I'm going to pretty much just soak this. I've planted seeds in six different spots. Now I only plan to grow two pepper plants in this pot and anything that sprouts hopefully I'll be able to transplant it. And same with all of these other ones. Only one plant per pot for these other smaller ones and transplant anything else that comes up. Phew, I'm getting tired. Alrighty, let me cover them up and give them a little bit more water. The green bell peppers are planted and I am done for the day. There was one more project I was going to do, but I'm tired, so I'll save that for tomorrow. But it has been awesome, so I planted green bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, sweet banana peppers, um, and cubanelle, sweet red cubanelle peppers. And I still have soil left, so I'm going to see... If I can avoid having to go back into town tomorrow and find some containers, something to plant in to use up the rest of that soil. And I don't know, make a make a, a dill bed maybe? I don't know. So anyhow, we'll just have to find out tomorrow. That's all I got for you. See you in the next video. See this? It's my happy face again. While I was out doing my projects, a neighbor pulled up and she says, what's your name? And I'm like, who are you? I actually said that. I said, who are you? And she says, I'm your neighbor. Well, I told her my name, and she said FedEx came and dropped off a package at my house, so can you come down and get it? It's really heavy, and uh, so I hopped in the van and drove on down there, and I'm really glad I hopped in the van because it is a big package. Here, take a look at it. There it is. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's a big package, and it is very cumbersome. Now, I think I know what this is because the wonderful person who sent it to me told me that it was coming and they opt to not be identified. 
So I will show you what this is in the next video. But before we leave, hey girlfriend, hey Betty. <laughs> she just can't be bothered. She's had a big day too, chasing the squirrels and the frogs. Thank God no snakes though. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.